Yeah, baby, the steel KM91. Stepping up to a commercial grade steel combi powerhead. I love myself the steel KM91. This 1.27 horsepower solid drive shaft combi powerhead kicks butt. What a cool tool. If you're stepping up to a steel combi, this is where I a lot of times are going to recommend that you start or where you land, depending on how heavy of user and what you're going to do with it. But the Steel KM91 will run every attachment fairly well. There's two of them that I would say could use a little bit more performance, and that would be the bed redefiner or the sweeper. But really, the KM91 is going to run your edger well, run your pole saw well, run your head trimmer well, your string trimmer well. It'll it'll power through on a brush cutter. So it's a good place to land. And why do I say that? Because a lot of times when I have customers, when we, when Carl's has customers come in shopping for a combi, in their mind they want to land at maybe a KM56, and no trash on the KM56, it's a good machine. But when I buy a combi, I need to think a little bit longer term. I need to put on like my binoculars or get out my crystal ball and go, what am I going to need in the future? I'm not just buying a weed eater, I'm buying a tool that I'm going to use a lot longer because I have different attachments and a lot longer season. So not only more in a week, because I'm gonna run a trimmer and an edger and a blower, but also a longer season, right? So think about moving up from a homeowner machine to a professional machine when you land at a combi, and a KM91 is a sweet starting point. So let's take a quick look real quick, just between the KM56 and the KM91, and you can see some of the reasons why. And this guy, this is a standard two cycle machine. It's putting out just over one horsepower versus 1.27. This is a lot stronger, a lot torquier. This is gonna run a solid steel drive shaft in between. If I were to take this off, we would see that there's a cable running from here to the engine. So the power transfer is not going to be as great as if we take the KM91 apart we will see that it is a solid shaft from. So when I'm talking about getting into a brush cutter or getting into some of the heavier use application, you will see better performance out of the steel KM91 or 111 or 131. A little bit more weight, but more powerful engine, better air filtration, a rubber handle for comfort. Check it out, the steel combis. Personally, I'd at least step up to the KM91. Stop by Carl's Mower and Saw. We'll put any one of them in your hands and let you feel which is the right machine for your application.